All right, we're going to continue to monitor Secretary Blinken as he continues to speak live there from Brussels. As the White House um, has released the transcript of that call from Benjamin Netanyahu, the readout uh, does say that Biden made clear the need for Israel to announce and implement a series of specific, concrete, and measurable steps to address the civilian harm, humanitarian suffering, and the safety of aid workers there. Much more coming from that call. We'll have that for you. And now... We're going to bring in Congressman Mike Waltz, serves on the House Armed Services, Foreign Affairs, and Intel Committees. Uh, sir, thank you very much for joining us. We're digging through some of what we are learning uh, was discussed on this call, including what we just heard from Secretary Blinken. Biden also emphasized to Netanyahu that the strikes on humanitarian aid workers and the overall humanitarian situation are unacceptable. Your reaction to what you have heard so far? Thanks, Sandra. Well, I would first remind everyone that under President Biden, uh, we had a civilian aid worker strike during the disgraceful withdrawal from Afghanistan that killed seven children and three humanitarian workers. It was an awful mistake uh, that our service members made. Uh, and clearly, this was a terrible mistake on the part of the IDF. But let's save a bit of the public righteous ind indignation uh, when it comes to our ally clearly making a mistake, that is very different than what Hamas has historically done, which deliberately target, kill, and torture civilians, number one. And number two, um, you know, it, it's, it's just sad to me that I think for purely political reasons, so much of the ire of this White House is going on to the shoulders of the Israelis that I think are doing everything they can to avoid civilian casualties, fighting an enemy that is deliberately sacrificing its people in order to turn world opinion uh, against Israel and to watch uh, this administration publicly play right into their hands uh, is incredibly frustrating. And finally, Sandra, if we're talking about alleviating the suffering, then uh, let's talk about things outside of uh, just putting pressure on Israel. How about Egypt allowing people to come across the Rafah border uh, crossing and establish uh, uh, refugee camps there? How about we, we gather the international Muslim community uh, to actually help the, the Palestinians alleviate that suffering and to reform the Palestinian Authority so that they can once again provide their own security on the day after the war? But we're not hearing any discussion of that. We're only seeing the rhetorical pounding of Netanyahu and his government. And again, I think it's for purely election year politics when it comes to seeing Arab Americans walk away uh, from, from this president. Well, speaking of which, uh, more from this call, as we know that it did conclude and it lasted about uh, 30 minutes, we're told. As for what Netanyahu told President Biden, he said Israel can defend itself and we will act according to principle, that we will hurt anyone that hurts us. He went on to tell Biden that, um, that Iran has been working against Israel for years and therefore Israel is operating operating against Iran and its proxies. Obviously, Netanyahu is sending a very firm message over the call to the White House. Well, this has everything to do with the strike Israel just took on the Iranian consulate in Syria and took out the Iranian Quds Force officers, which I think was the exact right thing to do, because at the end of the day, the true disease here, uh, underscoring Hezbollah, Hamas, the Houthis, all of it, uh, the militias that killed our service members in uh, Iraq, is Iran. And the best way we could help Israel and help end this war is dry up the cash in Iran that is fueling uh, all of their terrorist proxies. Uh, and yet, uh, we have a bill in the House that would put secondary sanctions on the Chinese buyers of Iranian oils. Uh, we can't get that through the Senate. And that's what uh, yeah. Biden should be talking about right now. Dry up the cash. Good to get your reaction as Blinken continues to talk. We'll continue monitoring that. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Good to see you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.